We all know it, there's a big gap between normal AAA games and crypto play to earn games. Now slowly but surely that gap is being filled by some of the games that are coming out in the next couple months. One of those games is called Undead Blocks. Think of Left 4 Dead 2 mixed with Call of Duty Zombies but with a crypto twist. So, Bitcoin up today? And the weapons you're holding are all NFTs that you can upgrade, sell or rent to other people who can't afford to buy them. Or you can hop in a game with your buddies, kill zombies and earn Z-Bucks, which is their coin, for each and every single kill. Now it's time to take a deep dive at Undead Blocks, check out their tokenomics, check out their economy system, how they actually pay the players, obviously check out the gameplay and ladies and gentlemen, I'm running a giveaway right now with Alan King, all you have to do to join join is click the Gleam link in the description down below and there's various ways you can join the giveaway. We're giving away where to earn NFTs, coupon codes of $250 and much more. So with that being said, crypto games, they come in, they go, they go up in value, they go down in value. You always want to jump on a crypto game as soon as it comes out in order to get the most amount of profits and in order to stay informed, all you have to do is click that little subscribe button, it takes only half a second and with that being said, my name is The Inspector, you're about to get mind blown, let's get this show on the road. The premise of this game is that you can play with your friends, kill zombies and it is a kill to earn concept, which is something new. And we love new things over here, we love that innovation. You kill zombies and you earn, you defend yourselves against hordes of zombies using special weapon NFTs, and you earn Z-Bucks for each kill. And if you don't have money to mint a weapon NFT, you'll be able to rent it for completely free. These weapon NFTs you can upgrade to increase damage, ammo capacity, accuracy and I would reckon also the price on the market. So here's what's gonna happen next. We're gonna check out their economy system, see if it's robust enough, then check out the gameplay and then give a final verdict of what I think about the game. Let's do it. So first of all, they're working on a dual token ecosystem, similar to Axie Infinity, where they have AXS coin and they also have the SLP coin, which is a smooth love potion. For Undead Blocks, they have Undead and Z-Bucks. Undead is used to purchase the weapon NFTs and you can also stake Undead in order to get more Undead, basically, and you can also get special weapon NFTs by staking it. And basically, it is used for the ecosystem's governance. As for Z-Bucks, Z-Bucks is like a stable coin worth 0.10 dollars and it'll always be stable. So Z-Bucks is the reward currency in Undead Block's ecosystem and is backed by the Undead token. They have multi-chain withdrawals for reduced gas costs. Either way, here's the bottom line of how much you can earn. So imagine a $25,000 price pool with around 6,000 maximum players. Even if you're in the last place, you're gonna earn at least two to three dollars. So to say it in simpler terms, anybody that wants to earn money in this game, all you have to do is compete in the daily challenges they're gonna have and you're gonna have a chance of winning anywhere from two to one thousand dollars every day and all you have to do is play a minimum of one game so how much money you actually win per day is gonna depend I think on how much you play and how good you play because there are going to be leaderboards and it's gonna be different games it's not always gonna be played with your friends sometimes it's gonna be solo matches but well all that sounds very exciting let's jump into the game and check it out well, here goes. This is the main menu. Uh, definitely looks very slick. It's very responsive. It reminds me a lot of Left 4 Dead, which is a good thing. If we go to the armory, we can see all the different kinds of weapons we can have. Um, you can upgrade them right here for Z-Bucks, apparently 1000 Z-Bucks to upgrade this weapon. So I don't know if they just wrote this for the purposes of the beta testing or if it's actually going to cost that much. Uh, that's one of the things we can't know with this closed beta. Um, all the features all the features from the closed beta are still very tight-knit. And the game is gonna have a lot more stuff once it comes out. But basically from hunting rifles to crossbows, AK-47s, shotguns, we have everything we can need here and also different skins. Let's go to play, so we have solo, we have the squads, we have the speed run and the pistol showdown and I like how smooth this is, but it definitely has the feel of a triple A game and not one of those 
uh, bad crypto games out there. Definitely has a triple A feel to it. So let's go uh, to solo because that's the only thing we have available right now for the closed beta. And while I would love to test out a different weapon, it's only letting me use the pistol for some reason. So one more thing, when I go to settings, I, I didn't see an FOV slider. That's something I would love to see in the game. One thing I noticed when I played it and one thing I very much liked is, you know how usually in these first person games, um, the protagonists have those catchy lines they say. <laughs> I'd still hit it. In this game, he says stuff like to the moon. So, Bitcoin up today? Woo! Ziva, baby! I know that the guys that made this are most likely watching this video. If you could add an inspector mind blow voice thing to it, that would be absolutely amazing. Like when you shoot a zombie with a shotgun, blow his brains out, and you say, You've just been mind blown. That would be a cool little Easter egg. Anyway, here we are. I got my combat knife right here. And I also have my gun. So, Bitcoin up today? <laughs> Bitcoin sure is not up today, my man. But <laughs> good, good on you for being optimistic. All right, let's go. And so it's the very first round and the inspector is shooting zombies left and right. But at one point, he totally ran out of ammo. He emptied his magazine and he didn't know where to find any more ammo. So this is where the first try ended and the second try started. Now, the inspector knew where to find ammo and the second try was gonna be a lot different. Oh, I need 500 XP. How do I get XP? Okay, so I get it. I get 25 XP each, each time I kill a zombie. Don't you sneak up on me. Yeah, baby. All right, run one complete and now I have uh, more than enough for the ammo. Thank you very much. Now, I need 250 more XP to get the fast reload buff. All right, here's a fast reload buff and uh, it costs 1000 XP. Okay, I gotta see if there's anything else around the map, like a gun I can find, because this pistol, not the greatest in the world, I gotta say. As you can see on the bottom right of Inspector's screen, you can see the ammo count, which is zero. Happens quite often in this game. And on the bottom left, we can see the perks, the XP, and the health. Round to complete, let's freaking go. Let me get the fast reload. Thank you. Who makes this garbage? Now round three is off to a good start. Okay, now I can spam it. But we have way more zombies and they're way harder to kill already. I need more ammo soon. Oh my god, dude. The fast reload is saving my life here. It's getting overwhelming at this point, but it's nothing the inspector can't handle. With a few good place headshots, these tougher zombies also fall to the ground and give me z -bucks. All right, come in line, zombies. Come in line. Come here. Come here. Let me pick you up. There we go. How hard was that? See? The hitboxes are definitely a little weird. Oh my god, how much health do you have, bro? I gotta check here. Is there anything else I can maybe buy? Oh, I can open this door. Okay. Paid 750 XP to open this door. Better be some good stuff in here. Oh, speed perk, yes! Oh, I don't have enough XP. Oh, this is gonna be awesome! Oh, where the hell did you come from, bro? Oh, the speed perk is gonna be something else. Okay, I don't wanna be in this house for the next wave, that's for damn sure. So I'll be back with a thousand XP. All right, come on, boys. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh my god, look at how many there are, bro. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Almost dead. Okay, I only have one perk out of four that I can have, I think. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's too many for a pistol. If I get through this, I'm the best gamer alive. Oh god. Two thousand years later. We're all gonna make it. Well, I completed this, but uh, I won't have enough for both the speed and the ammo. So I'm gonna just go get the speed just to see how it is. And wave five is almost started. I don't know how I got through this one. Let's get this quick New and get round. out of here. Fresh meat. Faster than you saying. Ah, oh, let's go. There's two more perks I can get. It's like a health perk and maybe a strength perk? I don't know. I do need to kill two more zombies ASAP to get the ammo though. Oh god. So I can't really waste bullets here. No! This guy. You can, you gotta, you, you need to die. Thank you. Oh, that was close. Okay, I have enough for ammo. Here we go. Ah, my 
I got the speed. I got the reload speed. I can do this all day. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's see if we can finish him with my knife. Thank you. And I'm dead. So, 550 Z Bucks is how much I would have earned. I do need to finish 30, uh, 50 more with an SMG and 10, 7 more with a shotgun. There's gotta be a way for me to use the different weapons, I just haven't figured it out. But the point is, I tried out the game, I've seen the flaws, I've seen the good things. I gotta say, it is fun, I can definitely see myself playing this with friends, um, even if it wasn't a crypto game, but the thing that it is a crypto game and it is play to earn is freaking phenomenal. So there's challenges you need to complete in order to earn money, but also you earn in-game money by killing zombies and then you use those to upgrade your weapons. It's totally going to be free to play for everyone, even if you don't have a weapon NFT, you can rent them for completely free, which is amazing. A few things I would like, so first of all, the FOV, as I said, second of all, more variety of zombies would be nice, instead of making them tougher, just give us more variety, like different kinds of zombies for different waves, and also, if a zombie is tougher to kill and needs more ammo to be killed, I want him to give more XP back, because this just doesn't feel fair. Um, those are some of my key takeaways as far as the gameplay goes. As far as everything else goes, definitely fun game. I will definitely play it. I will definitely participate. I will definitely buy NFTs. Um, it's just one of those projects that can literally blow up. They have robust economics. Um, they have two, a two coin system where one of those coins is a stable coin, which is a, an amazing concept. I can't stress enough how good that is. So with all that being said, check out Undead Blocks in the description down below for all their links. Their public beta will be released soon in May. After the public beta, they will have their official launch. Everything is happening very, very soon. So let me know how you liked this game and if you want me to see review games like this more often in the future. And also definitely don't forget to join the giveaway. Link for that is in the description. It is the Gleam link. It is under giveaway. Guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Inspector out. Peace.